Hi there, my name is Sandra and you're watching The Schwoben's Nest. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm starting this project off with this decorative board. I'm going to just use a glue stick and attach this scrapbook paper to the top of it. I'm going to leave the handle black because I like the look of that. And I'm just going to use a glue stick to get the paper onto the board. Once the paper has had a couple minutes to dry, I'm going to flip it over and using my craft knife, I'm going to just trim off the rest of the paper. Where the handle starts, I'm just going to freehand cutting that into a bit of a round so both of the edges meet up and that will leave the handle black. I grabbed two different types of window clings from my local Dollarama store. They usually don't have a whole lot and unfortunately our Dollar Trees don't carry anything in regards to window clings or even stickers. But what I decided to do because this has a sort of a brown background is I'm taking my craft knife and I'm going to literally cut out the inside of this little wreath and then I'm gonna go and do the same thing around the outside. I'm going to use a glue stick again to just place down the wreath. That's just going to give it a little bit of extra security, but I am going to give it a good layer of Mod Podge on the top. What I decided to do was take one of the pumpkins window clings. I did trim the edge off of this one as well. And now when I lay it down, look at how pretty that is. It looks so good. I can't believe that this is a window cling. I wanted to add a little bit of wording to this sign, so I decided to cut out the word welcome using my Cricut and some matte black vinyl. I've got it in a curve already, so I'm just going to center it as best I can and then just peel off the transfer tape. I extended the Mod Podge on top of the window cling and all the way to the edge of the paper just to make sure that everything had the same sheen or glossiness or matte, whatever you want to call it, just so it looks even. I'm just taking some of this off-white twine now and I'm just going to wrap a little bit around the handle, just hot gluing it first so it stays in place. I'm going to add a bunch of little mini embellishments, some pumpkins, acorns, some of this greenery. I'm also going to be adding some of the Pipberry garland that you see there from the Dollar Tree. And I've got some of these glass pumpkin leaves. I decided to add one at the end on top of the bow. The ribbon that I'm using for the bow is just this little sort of burlapy ribbon. I did get it on sale at Michael's a while ago in looking forward to the fall season. So it still is part of my stash, but I did buy a couple of extra things this year. So if you like this one, let me know in the comments below because I've got to tell you, I think this one is my favorite today. I'd like to take a quick second and thank all of my current subscribers. I really appreciate your support and your views. So keep coming back. It really helps my channel grow. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you could hit that red button too. I've always got scrap pieces of wood hanging around, so I thought I would take this two by four piece. I painted it completely white and now I'm just taking a chip brush with some light gray chalk paint and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a dry brushing, give it a little bit more texture. I'm taking this cute little red barn and these two little trees to put on top of my two by four block. I am going to be trimming off the edges of the trees a little bit. There's some clear about a quarter of an inch border all the way around. So I'm just going to clean that up to make sure that it doesn't peel off. There's a sweet red truck on this package too, and I really love it, but I didn't have a use for it in this video. So I'll try to get something together with that one for my next. For this block, I'm just using Mod Podge instead of a glue stick. I wanted to make sure that this is gonna stick down really well. When I do place it down, then I'm going to go over the whole block again with more Mod Podge and set it aside to dry. 
using my Cricut, I also cut out Happy Harvest. The Happy I did myself, but the Harvest was one of the images that comes in the Cricut design space. I'm going to add some more embellishments to this block and make it look like it is a little pumpkin. So I'm starting off with a wood stick. I'm going to do some acorns, some more pip berries, and a little bit of raffia. For some greenery on this one, I decided not to go with the greenery, but I actually grabbed some of these fall leaves that I had in my stash from the Dollar Tree last year. I don't normally use the browns and golds, but I think it tied in really nicely with the two little trees that are on this sign. The leaves were much bigger, so I just cut them down. So don't be afraid to take something that you have and use it for a different purpose. I really like how this one turned out too. When I am out at thrift stores, I'm always on the lookout for terracotta pots. This one's in really good shape. I think it was $1.99 and I really liked the shape of it. It's nice and fat and squat. So I'm going to give this a pot inside and out the color mushroom. I really love this paint. It's sort of a beigey gray color and the coverage on it is awesome. It's just a latex paint, but I can usually get away with almost one coat because it's really super thick. I grabbed one of the window clings that was on the brown sheet and I'm just trying to see how I'm going to make it fit. I ended up cutting off all of the excess greenery and floral stuff that you see there. I just wanted to put the pumpkins on and then I added some additional embellishments afterwards. For this project, I'm using Mod Podge again. I just put a whole bunch of it on, not too thick, but just enough so all the window cling would stick. And then I'm gonna be able to just kind of move it around until I get it into the spot I want. I did need to kind of adjust it, but the Mod Podge gives you that ability. And then I needed to trim off a little bit on the bottom because it was hanging over the bottom edge of the pot. And I figured that's probably gonna peel up. But then I went over the whole pot with a layer of Mod Podge again. I decided to add some of the little leaves that were available on both of the sheets. I did cut out all of the excess that was around them because I didn't want that to show when I put the Mod Podge on. I think this pot will be perfect for a big bunch of mums or even just filling it up with a whole bunch of pumpkins for the fall season. Here's a full look at both of these sheets. I think they're really pretty. They're not too cartoony looking. They're actually a little bit realistic and almost 3D. Now I'm going to take this little creamer that I picked up at the thrift store and I'm going to add a little window cling to it. Did you ever think of looking for blanks at the thrift store? So when I say blanks, something that you can craft with and add your own spin to. We find wood planks and wood signs and all sorts of things at Walmart or the dollar stores, but the thrift stores always have a whole bunch of plain things, plates, saucers, teapots, cutting boards, all sorts of things that you can grab to embellish and make your own. I wish I had found a little sugar dish to make a matching pair because I think that would have been absolutely adorable for the fall and Thanksgiving table. I only put Mod Podge on the outside of this creamer, so that means it's still food safe on the inside because it has its original ceramic coating. That's going to make it even more usable. So make sure when you're out at the thrift store that you look for some of these little blanks that you can customize and make your own. Here on my channel, 
I go to the thrift store a lot, but I also repurpose a lot of decor pieces that either fall apart because I didn't glue them properly or I just don't like them anymore. So I take it apart and make something new out of it. That's what I'm doing with this one. If you saw the original video, it had one little tray at the bottom and then a windmill on it. Well, that one didn't stand the test of time. So I decided to just pull off that little tray at the bottom and add two of these little wooden crates that came from Michael's. I'm going to add this white and orange pumpkin design onto this little piece and I'm using the same method Mod Podge first and then Mod Podge on top to seal it in really nice. I'm using this little wooden garden stake as an embellishment for on top of the crates. The crates have a seam in the center because there's two of them. So I thought this would be a really good way to just camouflage it. I'm using my miter shears to just cut out some arrow shapes on the end just to make it look more like a banner. I'm going to paint it white and then I'm going to add a cutout vinyl piece with my Cricut and it's just going to say pumpkin patch. At the beginning of the summer season, I grabbed a whole bunch of pool noodles from the dollar store and that's what I use to stuff inside of different things when I want to do floral arrangements. They're really nice and sturdy. They don't melt with the hot glue like regular floral foam does and I really just like how sturdy they are. So I glued two of them in here and now I'm going to take all of these little embellishments you see here. I've got some pumpkins, I've got some green and white ones. I'm going to start off with some Spanish moss and what I like to do with the Spanish moss is tear it out of the bag over the garbage pail because it makes such a mess on my desk and I can't stand that. Anyhow, that's what I'm doing right now. You can't see me, but I am ripping it into the garbage pail. And then you'll see me bring some of the Spanish moss and I'm gonna just start pulling it apart and covering up that pool noodle. The other thing that I like to do is take some little pieces of wire and I just bend them into a U shape and that will then just be poked into the Spanish moss and into the pool noodle because then I don't have to deal with the hot glue and the Spanish moss. I am more of a neutral fall decorator. I like the rusty orange colors of the pumpkins and not the bright stuff. But for this video, I am stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit just to add a little bit more of the brighter colors. So for this one, I'm going to be starting off with some of the muted tones, but then you're going to see me add some sunflowers and some orange pumpkins. And I think this one turns out pretty sweet too. The nice thing about using the wires is that if you don't like the way it looks, you can easily take it out and put it in a different spot. I hope you love this one as much as I do. Thanks so much for spending some of your time with me today. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to do all the things. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget about the notification bell. You don't want to miss out on anything else I have to share. Bye for now. Bye.